usually insulin resistance and diabetes results from overnutrition. You just consume too many carbohydrates or even too many fats or calories, which ends up giving you impaired glucose tolerance and insulin resistance. But there is one key nutrient without which even healthy people can experience impaired glucose tolerance and mild insulin resistance. So in this video, I'm going to talk about this one specific vitamin without which you can get diabetes. It's showtime. In 1939, four young, healthy 20 to 29 year old women were put on a thiamine deficient diet. They were getting less than 0.1 milligrams of thiamine per day. They all saw very rapid impairment in glucose tolerance. Injecting one milligram of thiamine chloride subcutaneously for four days reversed that phenomenon. Another 1940 study on six healthy white women aged 21 to 46 saw that a low thiamine intake of 0.15 milligrams a day or less caused diabetic blood sugar curves. In this case as well, thiamine injections at doses of one milligram reversed these symptoms. Here are the conclusions of the authors from these studies. Number one, thiamine deficiency in as little as 15 days, but especially after two to three months, leads to impaired carbohydrate tolerance. Number two, thiamine supplementation improves glucose tolerance in those who are deficient. Number three, symptoms of thiamine deficiency are vague, such as lack of appetite and fatigue. Number four, thiamine deficiency can cause electrocardiogram changes. So what is thiamine? Thiamine, also known as vitamin B1, is an essential vitamin. Some of the more well-known disorders caused by thiamine deficiency include beriberi, which causes severe malnutrition. Thiamine deficiency can also cause optic neuropathy, and thiamine deficiency can also cause diabetes. Numerous studies show that thiamine or thiamine-related compounds improves diabetic glucose control and diabetic symptoms. Thiamine at 150 milligrams a day has been seen to significantly reduce blood glucose and leptin levels within one month in 24 drug-naive type 2 diabetic patients. Thiamine administered as one time 100 mg IV dose improved endothelium dependent vasodilation in 10 type 2 diabetics during an acute glucose tolerance test. So why is thiamine so important for glucose? The active form of thiamine, thiamine diphosphate, acts as a coenzyme for three essential enzymes involved with glucose metabolism. You also need magnesium to form thiamine diphosphate inside the body. Usually thiamine deficiency occurs in third world countries where they're consuming usually like just white rice or other processed carbohydrates that actually leads to thiamine deficiency and causes this beriberi syndrome. But what are some of the other reasons for thiamine deficiency even in industrial industrialized societies. Poor glucose control and insulin resistance, such as in type 1 and type 2 diabetes, promotes thiamine deficiency by down-regulation of thiamine absorption transporters. High glucose levels even in non-diabetics are going to reduce thiamine absorption because of this reason. Basically, you're going to urinate out more thiamine with elevated glucose levels. This is a vicious feedback loop as the higher your glucose levels are, the more thiamine you would actually need. There are many medications and pharmaceuticals that also increase thiamine need, such as proton pump inhibitors, oral birth control, angiotensin receptor blockers, diuretics, and chemotherapy. Foods that can make you excrete thiamine Thiamine are highly polished rice, processed grains, alcohol, coffee, and tea. So how much thiamine do you need to not get diabetes? The RDA for thiamine in adults is 1.2 milligrams for males and 1 milligram for females. During pregnancy and lactation for females, the requirement is 1.4 milligrams. The highest food sources of thiamine are pork, 0.4 milligrams per 3 ounces, trout, 0.4 milligrams per 3 ounces, black beans, 0.4 milligrams per half a cup, mussels, 0.3 milligrams per 3 ounces, tuna 0.2 milligrams per 3 ounces, and squash 0.2 milligrams per half a cup. If you're someone who has either symptoms of thiamine deficiency or you're someone that has some aspects of poor glucose control and high blood sugar levels, then you could also consider supplementing thiamine. In terms of supplementation, then for the optimal glucose oxidation, it's likely that supplementing with all three forms of thiamine is the best. But for a minimal effective dose, just a regular thiamine HCL is enough. If you're not overweight and you don't particularly have metabolic syndrome or you don't have type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes, but you still show symptoms of impaired glucose tolerance or your regular blood sugar levels and hemoglobin A1c are elevated for no other reason, then it's very likely that the reason for the high blood sugar levels is a particular nutrient deficiency, whether that be thiamine, chromium, sodium, or some other minerals. If you want to learn everything about improving your glucose levels and hemoglobin A1c, then check out my book with Dr. James DeNicola Antonio called The Blood Sugar Fix, available on Amazon and Audible. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.